Hey, 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 happy Saturday, everyone. Welcome to the channel. Since everybody is raising questions about the Atlanta Falcons picking Michael Penix Jr. at eight in the 2024 NFL Draft, I thought I would share my thoughts about the pick. Now, at first, I will say that I kind of liked the move, but then I thought about it a little bit more, and then I said, you know, this is weird. It's bizarre. Why Michael Penix Jr.? Why? I'm unbelievably perplexed. I'm confused. I just don't understand. This one, I don't understand at all. Just when you thought they solved the quarterback position by bringing in Kirk Cousins, draft night comes, and they select the quarterback. Owner Arthur Blank has some explaining to do. He has a lot of explaining to do. I'm genuinely, like most people, curious about this move. Guess he can be an insurance plan in the event Kirk Cousins goes down. Curious move by the Falcons. I mean, first of all, they found a quarterback in Kirk Cousins who gives them a short window to at least win the NFC South and even make a deep run in the playoffs. Secondly, they paid Kirk Cousins $180 million to be the starting quarterback. The Falcons are locked in with Cousins for three years. By the time Penix gets a chance to play, he will be 27. So did they really need a quarterback? What a waste of pick when they need help on defense. I know they got defense later on in the draft, but still, the principal. I I mean, right then and there, you had a chance to go defense and you didn't. Since, since when did the Falcons start operating their business like the Jets or the Raiders? Dumb draft picks, foolish decisions, moves that have your head spinning in circles as you try to understand why. Wondering what the heck they are doing. I like Michael Penix Jr. a lot. You know, I'm high on him. But I really don't see that scenario where he where he uh, even gets a chance to play unless Cousin suffers an injury. And you know I don't wish injury on players. I'm just saying. They took a quarterback when they really didn't need a quarterback. Michael Penix at eight? And then you didn't let Cousins know until you were about to make this pick? I honestly feel bad for Penix. I would have liked to see him fall to number 13. The Raiders would have been an ideal fit for him. What is this man What is this man doing in Atlanta? Him going to the Falcons doesn't benefit him at all. I, I would say it would be substantially bad to see the Falcons waste the peak of his career. Dude needed to move. Dude... Dude needed to, to go somewhere he could play at an elite level and make an immediate impact. He didn't need to go to a team to be waiting in the wings behind somebody else. Somewhere they needed a quarterback is where he needed to be. Sometimes things aren't meant to be understood. This certainly is one that's not meant to be understood. And weird things do tend to happen on draft night. 